Hi, my name is Eric Dahl from Mommy Fit, and today we're gonna talk about pain. But not just any pain, but sciatic pain, or as you may know it, it's called sciatica. And the reason I wanna talk about this today is a lot of seniors get sciatic pain or sciatica. So what are some of the reasons you may have sciatica? and how do you reduce it or get rid of it? As I like to say before we do it, let's get into it. So what are common reasons that people may have sciatica? Well, as I said earlier, older adults or seniors typically are the ones that get this most often. So age is one, Obesity, being overweight. Three, diabetes, again, something that may affect a lot of older adults. Occupation, basically the type of job you have. If you're doing a job that has a lot of twisting or anything that requires or your spine moving, typically could be an issue when it comes to sciatica. And last but not least is sitting or being very static or not moving, just sitting. So these are common reasons. So if you already have some of these already, you should be able to identify some things you can already do, whether it be losing weight if you have obesity or just standing up in general if you're sitting for too long, but you can address some of the problems you may have. But to go even a step further, we're gonna talk about three stretches in particular that I would recommend you do every day, two, three times a day, 30 seconds if you can, holding them, to reduce that sciatica. So let's get into the exercises. So one of the most effective ways to really help your sciatica is to stretch the deep lying muscles in your glutes, particularly your piriformis, which lies right in your butt muscles. So how do we do it? Well, some ways you can do it is sitting down like I'm here or here right now. And the first one for exercise number one is take one of your legs and cross it right across your body. So right here, yes, I might feel a stretch already just being in this position. Now we wanna take it a step further and to grab the knee and you pull it right into your chest. So I'm taking the knee and I'm driving it right towards the middle of my chest. And ideally you should feel a stretch in the bottom of your hip muscle or your glutes. So if you hold it sitting tall, you should feel that stretch right in your glutes. We can hold for about 20 or 30 seconds. Ideally, we want to do it on both sides. Even though we might feel the, the, the pain on one side, it's always great to do it on both sides. So we want to cross our leg again, sitting tall, pulling our knee right into our chest. Again, on this side, you should feel it right in that lower glute muscle. So this is exercise number one for stretching your piriformis. So after we've stretched our lower glute muscle, we want to stretch it in another way. We want to hit this muscle in many different angles. So another great one, again, sitting on our chair, is to take your leg and cross it in a figure four. So in this position, we want our ankle lined up with our knee and we want our leg to be as flat as possible. So right now you can see my knees a little bit up. So I'm going to use the hand that's free and to rest it on it and if we can flatten it out. So from here, I should feel a stretch right in my glutes again. And then once I'm here, to increase the stretch, because we want to make sure we feel the stretch, we can take our, from our hips, we can lean forward slightly. So a big mistake a lot of people make in this position is to more focus on hunching their back forward as opposed to leaning from your hips. Did you notice a subtle difference? It's very subtle, but if you notice the difference, you're going to feel a stretch much more in those hip glute muscles if you lean forward as opposed to hunching over and creating a curve in your lower back. So that's exercise number two. But again, we wanna make sure we do it on both legs. We wanna make sure we line up our ankle with the knee, using the hand that we're not using, flatten it out and lean from the hips. Ideally, hopefully you feel a great stretch in your glutes, exercise number two. Okay, so I'm down on the ground now, folks. I'm down on the ground. A great way, again, to stretch that piriformis is to do a 90-90 stretch. So what do you mean by 90-90? Well, 90 degrees forward and 90 degrees back. 
So if I take one leg and I try to line it up 90 degrees in front from, from my hip, knee, and ankle, and then 90 degrees in behind me, I can basically be, be in this position. Similar to exercise number two, leaning from my hips, leaning forward. Typically, again, you might see people doing things like hunching over and doing all that kind of stuff. I typically don't always recommend doing it because, again, when we're talking about seniors and older adults, if you have any issues with your back or osteoporosis or anything like that, we want to avoid hunching over. So ideally, if you can focus more on leaning from your hips, you should feel that stretch again right in your glutes. So you may be wondering, yes, we're gonna do both sides, but another great thing to do is find ways to do some more hip mobility type exercises. And how do we do it? So we're gonna add our stretch here, but we wanna work our way down to the other side. So a great way to do it is actually add more hip mobility. So I'm gonna go into our stretch on this side and to add some more hip mobility is to work our way over in a 90 degree fashion and we worked our way to the one side and just basically just go ahead and rotating from side to side. We wanna do this for about 20 or 30 seconds. You can just rotate from side to side for 20, 30 seconds. Before we switch to the other side, it's a great way to really work on your hip mobility, which most of us need anyway. And then once we've done it for 20 or 30 seconds, we wanna make sure we're lined up again 90, 90, one leg forward, one leg back. And again, lean into our front knee where we feel that stretch right in our glute. So this is an added bonus I've added right there. So it's the stretch of both sides, but hip mobility in the middle. Exercise number three. So folks, what do you think? Have you tried these exercises before? And if you have sciatica, would you be willing to try them? I would if I were you. So folks, as you know, I have a free Facebook group. The link is in the description. And, and I have some workouts below if you're interested in checking that out. So as I like to say before I close, thank you. This is Eric Dr. Omnifit. Take care.